great ingredients. Serve piping hot, a perfect combination like you and Pick and Pay. So Henry, I've been to your restaurant, I've eaten at your restaurant, yeah. the food is delicious. Thank you so much. Now we've got you in our kitchen, yeah. cooking for us. What are we making? Okay, today we're making um, some wonderful angel fish mm -hmm. um, with like a classic Niçoise salad. So we've got um, some green beans, uh, we've got some eggs, I'm using quail eggs today. I want to ask you about the quail eggs, but just let's run through our ingredients yeah. quickly. Um, so I've got quail eggs, um, asparagus, which is right in season now, organic. Mm -hmm. um, some cherry tomatoes, a little bit of rocket. Uh, these guys here, which are marinated anchovies. Uh, they call them baccarones in Spain. Baccarones. Baccarones. Yes. And uh, some red onion and obviously the fish. Quail eggs yes. intimidate me. Really? Why? When I lived in England, I, I, it's the first time I'd seen them. I really? didn't realise yeah. we actually get them in South Africa. I don't know how to cook them. I don't know how to use them in yeah, anything. Yeah. And I know I'm not the only one. I know there's a few viewers out there as well. So yeah. you're going to have to educate us. Yeah, today. listen, they're, they're very simple to cook. I mean, it's like if you if you don't get quail's eggs, you can use normal eggs. Mm -hmm. um, but the rule of thumb, if you want them sort of runny, is two minutes, uh, three minutes for medium, and for hard boiled, four minutes. So okay. today we're going to do them for about three minutes. So let's get cooking. Excellent, excellent. So we start with the quail's eggs. Mm -hmm. um, so we just add them to boiling drop water? Drop them straight into boiling water. Okay. So um, if you can't get quail eggs, you can just use normal? Absolutely. So three You've minutes. You've got your timer there. Three minutes on the, on the clock. There. there we go. Um, and then after that, what we're going to do is just grill our asparagus. Now these... We've, these uh, are spring uh, vegetables. I didn't know that. It's absolutely. Actually, they're no, only, no, no. They're only it's, in season in it's, spring. It's, it's fully... This, this time of year, it's fully in season. Rich in vitamin C, rich in vitamin A, and rich in vitamin B12. A very, very healthy vegetable. Absolutely, absolutely. So we just uh, season them. Mm -hmm. with salt, pepper, olive oil. I'm feeling useless. You're going to have to Isn't give it? me something to do. You do you want something yes. to do? Yes. Well, you can grill these. Okay. There you go. How do I grill them? So just a nice bit of colour on all sides. Um, there you go. Off you go. Okay, next. Right, next I'm just going to show you the fish. Um, mm -hmm. For anybody that isn't familiar with angel fish, it's a flat fish. Um, and it's, um, it's, it's, it's so cheap, it's so easy to cook, and it's only got tiny little bones in it. Um, and is it sassy friendly? It is. Is it on, on the, the green list? It's on the green list. Um, it's one of the few fish that are now, mm -hmm. um, but it's a, it's a beautiful little fish, very easy to cook. I see you cutting a few pieces away yeah. there, what are you cutting so off? So here we've got, down the middle, that's the, mm -hmm. just the bones, and you can get it um, from your supermarket. Yeah, pick uh, and play actually fillets your, your fish for yeah, you, exactly. so you can just and ask Yeah, exactly, and they've them. skinned it, you don't really want to use the skin, the skin's not so good on this thing. Um, but all I've done there is taken the bones out from the middle and just trimmed a little bit from the sides. While you're busy doing that, yep. if you'd like to get the ingredients to uh, this recipe, 33728 with the word fish, F I S H, fish to 33728. The ingredients will be sent right away to your mobile phone. Look how gorgeous this asparagus looks. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh. It's a very short season asparagus, but. I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to see. But it's a great, a really great and healthy veggie. Yeah, mad for it. So I'm going to start cooking the fish slowly. Mm -hmm. Um, so in a hot non-stick pan. Why did you add oil point. to a non-stick pan? Huh? It's a non-stick pan, but you yeah, added Yeah, but uh, the, th the thing about this fish is it's pretty tasteless unless you get some colour on the okay. fish. Um, so we want to get a nice bit of colour on there, so a little bit of oil. I'll just turn that up to a full. Okay. There we go. Cool. Okay. And how long am I cooking this asparagus for? Um, just till we've got a nice colour on all sides. Now, we've got quite a few uh, of our Hindu viewers who are yep. celebrating Diwali, so I just want to wish them a very happy Diwali. Happy if Diwali. you're celebrating, please let us know on our Facebook wall, Expresso Morning Show SABC3. And send us photos of your celebrations over the next couple of days. We'd love to, to share that and be part of uh, this wonderful season. There you go. OK, you can go for about another more minute on that. My asparagus coming on nicely. Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely, lovely. Uh, the eggs have got one second left, so we just need to pull those guys out and just okay. put them straight into the water. Put them into the ice cold water. Absolutely. And if I'm boiling normal eggs? Huh? Normal eggs? Normal eggs. Same thing? Yeah, abs absolutely the same thing, but obviously a lot longer. 
How long do you cook a boiled egg? Oh, good. God knows. You're asking a chef now. I am. <laughs> um, do you see, this is why you come I've on the show. I've just got one of those gadgets at home. Oh, yeah, yeah. One, one the egg in. timer. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I like that. Exactly. Cool. How um, long do I just, leave it in the ice water for? Uh, just till they're cool. And we're going to peel them together, OK? OK. Um, so this is the dressing. It's about uh, a tablespoon of balsamic glaze. Mm -hmm. Uh, two tablespoons of uh, white balsamic vinegar. I like uh, how you just measure with no measuring. Oh. Tricks of the trade. Absolutely. Now it's all about uh, experience in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so salt, pepper, olive oil. That's it. Now the reason for adding the eggs to cold water makes um, it easier to peel. Yeah, Rumor? exactly. True. No, no, it's true. You'll, you'll struggle to peel them with them if they're... They're hot. They're very hot, yeah. So, do you want to go out these ones? Yeah, well, how am I doing with these asparagus? Absolutely. I think we'll pull those off. Okay. You can drop them straight into there, please. Into there? Yeah. So you've added... Um, I'm just starting to build up the salad now. Okay. Um, so we've got some red onion and the bocarones and the asparagus. So these guys, just give them a little tap and then roll them ever so gently. And then we'll just peel the skin off, okay? I hope I don't break anything. Mm. That happens. It does. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a disaster in the kitchen. There we go. While well, I'm doing the 33728 uh, reminder of that number, and the keyword today is fish. F I S H. Fish. Send that from your mobile phone, and the ingredients list will be sent. So you can go to your nearest pick and pay with your Smart Shopper card, get yourself some points, and buy the ingredients for this fabulous recipe. Look here. And also, if you don't want to buy quail eggs, you can just use normal eggs. Absolutely. There we go. I okay, see so you're a pro at this. And just roll them a little bit, and it sort of breaks up the shell. Can you do this with normal eggs, too? Absolutely. See, we're learning here. Yeah. OK. Um, and then what we'll do after these, we're going to put them back in the water. Back in the water? Why? Yeah, yeah, just to, just to, so the shell is very small and fine on it. Mm -hmm. um, just to wash that off a little bit. And the fish, how long are we cooking the fish? Uh, the fish, so we're just cooking it until the, the skin comes up. We're almost there yeah. with that. Uh, we're going to carry on with the salad now. So we've got asparagus, red onion, uh, beans. Yeah. Uh, some tomato. Let's okay. just get rid of this. Got to do a bit of a clean up here. Yeah, absolutely. And it's your first time cooking with me, so you know, I, I like to rush things. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, so we've got I'm tomatoes in there. Yeah. Uh, potatoes, you want to put the potatoes yes. in there? Uh, the quail's eggs, we're just going to cut them in half. I've added too many potatoes. Here we go. No, that's fine. Okay. Um, so dressing goes in there. Perfect. Mix everything around. There we go. Just like that. Absolutely. <gasps> and some rocket in there. You know what's nice is you've got your fish, you've got your healthy oils from your fish Absolutely. in this recipe. You've got your starch, you've got your protein from your fish. Your vitamin C from your asparagus and your tomato. Very, very delicious, yep. healthy salad to make. Ideal for a dinner as well. So we okay. just take the fish up to that point and then yep. we're just going to flip them over for a few seconds. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Lovely. So nice and colourful. We can start plating this up. Yeah. So asparagus down, everything in no particular order. You can just have fun. Yeah, if you can just cut that lemon in half. Uh, yes, sure. And squeeze it over the fish. Squeeze it over the fish. Yes, please. There we go. Absolutely. And then we're going to cut the quail's eggs in half. OK. Which way? Half, half? In uh, the... Other way, that way. Lengthwise. Yeah, perfect. I see they're a bit runny. Is that fine? Yeah, that's perfect. They're absolutely perfect. And how long can you keep this, cat, uh, this salad for? Um, I would eat it straight away, but that's just me. And if you're making it for a Sunday lunch? Um, if you, I mean, because it's warm salad, you don't, mm. you want to mix everything like last moment. Yeah. Um, and then that's it. Here we go. But you can now, make everything up beforehand. It's how fine. much uh, for this meal? If you use the quail eggs, uh, it will be on the blue plate. On the blue one. Yeah. For a hundred, between a hundred and two hundred. If you use normal eggs. Uh, we should be about 100. The fish is very, very cheap, very yeah. versatile. So, yeah. yeah. There we go. Thank cool. you so much for Thank cooking you. with us. Cheers.
And thank you for joining us. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to try out this delicious salad. And the recipe's on our website, expressoshow.com. The ingredients will be sent to your phone if you SMS 33728. And the word is fish. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.